did my dilation, did my physical therapy workout, having some good green smoothie. So we have a couple things that we need to do today. I need to go to b &H store to find a battery for the lighting. I was supposed to have a video out earlier this week already, but the lighting came. It didn't have the battery. Of course, this company was trying to cut costs and you have to buy a separate battery, a separate stand for the lighting and everything. So yeah, I'm gonna stop by B&H store to pick those up. Uh, I'm gonna do a couple errands. And then I'm meeting up with some friends that I haven't seen in so long. We're gonna have some dinner. Let's get ready. Let me take another sip. Nothing new to my routine, but I do wanna show you guys two new favorite products of mine. This is Pat McGrath. I think this color is, uh, Desert Orchid. It's so beautiful. When it comes to blush, I like it a little more um, peachy. Yeah, I love it. It's very subtle, natural, which is exactly what I'm looking for. And the second product, I don't know how to say this name, Ilia? Yeah. So Ilia and the color is Saint. It's very natural and super hydrating and it's kind of dry down to like a lip stain. Usually when I wear like, you know, heavier eyes makeup, I always keep my lips really nude. But now since everything a little bit more natural, dewy skin, more youthful look, I like for my cheeks and my lips to do the talking. So we're done. I'm gonna get dressed and we're gonna head out. Okay, ready. just finished at B&H. I'm really glad that I went and actually have it sorted out. Turn out I don't have to get a lot of stuff. Like it's already came with the lighting and everything. But oh, do I have a story to tell you when I get home? Stay tuned. I feel like I've been an hour to get ready but I do want to share with you guys what happened at B&H. Um, b and is a great store. They have tons of stuff and I managed to get what I need. This is a new lighting that I bought. It's definitely a lot better. Oh my gosh, look at how sweaty I am. Look at my skin. I look like I just took a shower. <laughs> That's how New York summer is. It's like the second you stop walking your body just like trench. But yes, I do want to talk about what happened. So I do love the store. They have everything I needed. Usually the people who help me are really nice. But I keep running into this person three times this week already, just the back and forth B&H. And, and I always see this person at the register. It's just really catty sometimes that like gay men feel the need to like out trans women or like clock us. Does that leverage you to be in a better position? Like for me, that doesn't. And um, yeah, this person who always like, look at me funny, kind of smiling, laughing at me. I don't mind it, I keep coming back. Like, what is he gonna do? When he rang up my stuff and he kind of like walked by his coworker and said something to her. And when he came back, I was looking at the corner of my eye and she's like staring at me. So I stare back. 
because I'm not afraid. It's 2021, you're still gonna be transphobic. What's your problem? But yeah, she stared at me and I kept staring back. I wouldn't look away, I wouldn't blink. And then she finally like looked away. She stared at me in a way that is kind of like, she hates me. You know how you get that feeling? The thing about me is no matter who you are, I know that you still have a job. You have a family to feed or whatever. Everybody got bills to pay. So I'm not gonna confront you. I'm not gonna do anything like that. But if you meet me outside a store and you look at me that way, like we're gonna have a problem. But yeah, I'm just like, I'm not gonna make a big deal out of it. I move on with my day. But you know, just something I wanna share. Like for people in my community, sometimes you guys like need to clean up your app too, you know? We already have so much exterior pressure and bigotry that we have to deal with. We don't need to deal with that in our community. Okay, you're gay, I'm trans, hi, cool, whatever. I am extremely polite to service people. Even when you're rude to me in a restaurant or something, I'm still gonna tip you. That's just how I am. When I first got out of college, I was a waiter. I know how that feels. I know how it is to deal with other people, but I didn't do anything to you guys. I was going on with my day. I was polite. I always say, hi, how are you? Thank you, please. I always do that. But if you're gonna be an asshole about it, do it outside. But anyways, I'm done with that. I moved on. I just want to share a little story with you guys that like, you know, this is something that a lot of trans people have to deal with daily. And I don't come across it as often, but when I do, I just kind of ignore it and I move on with my day because I shop there and you work there. And I still want you to keep your job and hopefully one day you learn the lesson to be a better person and that's it. And I don't have to be the one to teach you because I'm sorry, that's a lot of labor and I don't work for free. Now let's move on with our day. Um, I did stop by a couple store just to like pick up something because I need like basic clothes for the summer. A lot of my clothes are like dressy dressy. <laughs> So I went to Beacon Closet. I picked up like two oversized t-shirts I thought I would share with you. So this one right here, it's just a black t-shirt. And it said, consistency is only a virtual if you not a screw up. I thought it was pretty funny. And this one right here, Las Vegas. Um, I love Las Vegas. I lived in California before, so we used to go to Vegas a lot. So yeah, I just thought it's kind of like nostalgic. When you pick out t-shirt, just make sure that it's 100% cotton. Okay, and then I stopped by Brandy Melville just because I think they have kind of like good quality basic. Um, you guys know that I love these tank top and t-shirt. It just go with everything and it's kind of easy for the summer, you know? It's very, very dressed down and yeah. So I got this. I think it will go with my brown pants. I'll, I'll pull it like the whole brown look one day. A little longer than a few minutes late. I love this t-shirt. Usually when it's so basic, <laughs> you need it to fit well and that t-shirt just fit me really well. So I got an extra one. I have one in white. So yeah, that's what I picked up. And now we have to get ready. I have my like day basic makeup on already. I'm gonna kind of like turn this like from day to night look. I'm just gonna use this stick from Charlotte Tilbury, the amethyst. I like my makeup a little bit warning. Just gonna have this all over and then use the brush and blend it out. I haven't seen some since my surgery. Yeah, and we all live in the same city, <laughs> but it's just like the timing never adds up. So finally, after 10 months, I get to see my friends. The great thing about these is like, it's very buildable and you can just like blend it out to really sheer or have it like really pigmented. Now I'm gonna use my neutral Anastasia. I'm gonna use this shade right here. Pretty, right? Damn, these lashes. Does anybody make weird faces when they do makeup? <laughs> We definitely need to powder. Always on the T-zone. For lip, I'm gonna use Patrick Tar in, oh, she's single. Just a little bit of the Sephora one. A little bit of cuddly. This is what I'm gonna wear tonight. Um, 
kind of like warm summer glowy look yeah I feel like my old self again uh, oh I forgot I do have to dilate before because there's a possibility of me coming home not a hundred percent I'll be right back do you know how sometimes you're just like so hot and tired and bothered that you don't know what to wear that's where I am right now let's change hey Siri What's the weather like today? It's currently partly cloudy and 88 degrees. Temperatures are heading down from 88 degrees to 81 tonight. That's really hot. Okay, so comfort over everything. Because we're going to drink a lot of margarita also. I really feel out of place today. I don't know why. Maybe it's the heat. I used to make a lot more effort when I go out. Like I put on makeup, I have fun. I put on heels and all of that. Now it's all about comfort for me. Like something change. Wearing lashes and a full face heading outside feels a little bit different for me. I don't know why. A little have been just because my hair is crazy right now. Um, some braid, some outfit. Anyways, I gotta go now. I'm so late. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.